Greetings everybody, Drachi TV, your favorite PokeStorian at your service. Today I'll be talking about the legendary Pokemon Mewtwo. Before I begin, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do so. And while you're at it, if you could be so kind as to tap the notification bell, it would really help me bring you the best Pokemon content possible. Without further ado, let's hop right into the video. Mewtwo is a genderless psychic type legendary Pokemon, originally from red and green. In case you're wondering why I'm saying red and green, it's because those were the games that were originally released in Japan, eventually followed by the release of red and blue everywhere outside of Japan. In terms of design, Mewtwo is a two-legged Pokemon that's primarily grey but has a purple tail that turns green when it's shiny. Something to note about Mewtwo is that it's one of the five legendary Pokemon that can Mega Evolve. In fact, it actually has two Mega Evolutions, which vary depending on which Generation 5 game that you choose to play. In Pokemon X, Mewtwo gains what looks like a vest, as well as its eye color becomes blue. In Pokemon Y, Mewtwo actually loses a lot of its bulk, as well as its eye color changes to red. Considering the games that Mewtwo came from, these eye colors are pretty convenient. In addition to this, the box art legendaries for X and Y are also red and blue, the same color as both the eyes and the original games. Before I move on, I just want to briefly cover Mewtwo's in-game locations, with those being Cerulean Cave in the Kanto games, and Unknown Cavern in X and Y, as well as the Ultra Wormhole in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Now, with that out of the way, let's move on to Mewtwo's major appearances. Mewtwo made his movie debut in Pokemon The First Movie, where after a scientific experiment leads to the creation of a stronger version of Mew, now known as Mewtwo, he sets out to destroy the world. It's ended up to Ash in the game to thwart his evil plan and save the world from destruction. Something interesting to note is that there's actually been two iterations of the movie, the first being the original 1998 film, and the next was a Netflix adaptation that was released February 27th, 2020. In these movies, it's revealed that Mewtwo was originally created in a lab using DNA from Mew, or is then incubated until it escaped. In the case that you've not watched it, I highly recommend the film, whichever version you choose to watch, because I certainly enjoyed both. Some other Mewtwo appearances include Genesect and the Legend Awakening, which is an alright movie, but as a Pokemon YouTuber, I will always recommend you watch a Pokemon movie unless it's Hoopa Clash of Ages, which I will forever tell you to stay away from. Mewtwo also appeared in the end credits of Diancie and the Cocoon of Destruction, where when they are panning to all the Mega Evolutions, both Mega Evolutions have a brief bit of screen time if you're paying attention. That's it for Mewtwo's movie appearances, but before I wrap up the video, here are some extra facts that you may or may not be interested in. The first being that Mewtwo's Mega Evolutions are tied for the highest base stat totals alongside Mega Rayquaza, obviously excluding Eternamax Eternatus. The second is actually a little known fact that Mewtwo's birthday is February 6th. So, with that being wrapped up, I'm going to finish the video there. With little more to be said, I wish you all the best.